Poet Technologies this week announced the release to production of four products. The news marks a milestone for the company, which is continuing to commercialize its technology. The Poet Optical Interposer is a proprietary solution that is being deployed in a range of applications, including data centers, telecoms, and artificial intelligence. Joining me to discuss the significance of the progress is Poet's Vice President of Product Management, Raju Kankapati. Raju, how are you doing? I'm well, Adrian. Thank you. This is a major milestone for Poet. I mean, we have spent several years developing this optical interposer technology, and now we are entering into this production phase, which is critical for our success. And can we go through the products announced in the news release, and you tell us about what makes each one stand out in the marketplace and what kind of customer would be best suited for each? Uh, first, the 100G CWDM4. Sure. So the 100G CWDM4 transceivers have existed in the data center market for several years. So millions of units are being deployed in the data center every year. So based on historical trends and market reports, 100 gig CWM4 deployments will continue for next several years with a steady demand. So with our transmit and receive optical engines for 100 gig CWM4, we want to enable the lowest possible cost using our passive alignment and wafer scale assembly techniques. The 100 gig CWM4 transmit, it consists of four DML lasers, directly modulated lasers. It has monitor photodiodes and an optical MUX that is monolithically integrated onto the platform. It also comes with a fiber array unit that's attached to the engine. The receiver has photo detectors, a demultiplexer, and a fiber with LC uh, connector. The combo chip simplifies the module design and enables the high volume production for our customers. And that sounds great. And now the 200G FR4 and 400G FR4 pluggable transceivers. So 200G FR4 and 400G FR4 are natural evolution of technology in the data centers. They use the same wavelengths and they serve the, they serve the same two kilometer links in the network. Our 200 gig and 400 gig receive engines use the same architecture as our 100 gig CWM4 receiver. It just extra, it just uses the higher speed components, of course. So it demonstrates the scalability of our platform. I mean, we can release something for 100 gig and the architecture can be reused for 200 gig, 400 gig, and in the future for 800 gig and 1.6 terabits. So we have released both 200 gig FR4 and 400 gig FR4 receive optical engines to production as uh, stated in the announcement. And as anyone following the Poet story knows, and I think as you articulated there, the company's engineers have built an elegant and flex flexible design. And we're seeing that uh, here in, in these pro products because uh, your customers have the option to buy the optical engines with an integrated fiber array unit or that FAU, as you mentioned, uh, uh, can, can be sh the product can be shipped without it. So can you, can you go into a bit of detail on what an FAU does, how Poet's design allows room for it, and what kind of customer would want it in an optical engine? So as you stated, Adrian, FAU is a fiber array unit. As with all optical technologies, a fiber is needed to bring or carry the light from one point to the another point. Similarly, our optical engines, they need a fiber attached at the end to carry light signal from and to the receptacle of the module. So we have developed this FAU attached process for our optical engines and can supply engines to our customers with the FAU attached. So that being said, this whole FAU attached process is a very common uh, practice in the industry or common technology that has existed for several years. So several of our transceiver customers, they have developed this capability to do the FAU attached process themselves. So, and they have uh, uh, the capability to scale to high volume on their own. So for those customers, we will ship just the optical engines and customers will do the FAU attached process. Um, and uh, yeah, again, that, that flexibility sounds, sounds uh, so important. And we've heard and seen Poets teams in Singapore and China in action. We've had some live demos of our products. I, I know you wanted to point out that the team in Allentown, Pennsylvania is really key to delivering on the optics expertise needed for these achievements that we're seeing. Would you like to explain what they have done to get our products to this point? Sure. So the team we have in Poet Allentown in Pennsylvania brings a lot of experience in optics. So we have developed this site to handle several key aspects of the design and development of our engines. So for example, we can do optical, mechanical, and thermal simulations 
So we have a precision submicron flip chip die bonder and a wire bonder in Allentown, which we're using for proto belts. So we ha also have the reliability testing capability like accelerated aging, damp heat testing. And uh, so we also do a lot of optical characterization, RF testing and optical fiber alignment, both passive and active. The other core functionality that uh, we do in Allentown is documentation. So Allentown team takes care of the new product documentation to transfer designs to manufacturing. So overall, I mean, we have a great team and we will continue to expand our capabilities here as well as Singapore and Shenzhen as well. Right. And so the next step with the news is your customers go through a roughly three period, uh, three month period of testing these four products that were released to production. Then the expectation is purchase orders start to come in. Uh, what happens then? Yes, uh, so our customers need some time to uh, complete the validation of their products using our optical engines. So they will then supply uh, the modules to end customers for system level testing. So we can expect purchase orders to com uh, start coming in once the system level testing is complete. So we are planning for a production ramp in the second half of this year. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Raju. And uh, because of this news and the building momentum that your teams have created, we've had a lot of new eyeballs on Poet Technologies. For anyone looking for more information on the company, you'll find it on the website where you can read about the technology and examine corporate presentations. Uh, there are also other videos you can check out, including others with uh, Raju.